The wildfire smoke was definitely thick out there this morning, especially in Duluth, where many sports open their fall seasons. Duluth East was set to host a cross-country meet at Lester Park Golf Course, but due to unhealthy air quality, it was delayed two and a half hours. They had to wait until one o'clock to get going with their varsity cross-country season, but they did hold the meet. Coming out of the first loop of the 5K course was Duluth Denfeld Xander Schroeder with a decent gap from the rest of the pack. Farmington's Mason Sullivan put together a great second loop, though, and opened up a big lead to win with a time of 17 minutes, 8 seconds. Schroeder was 10 seconds behind him in second, and in third with a time of 17.32 is Charles Juntinen sporting some high-quality shades. Now on the girls' side, a little bit of light rain, but besides the air, some great running weather. Coming out of the first loop, a strong pack of runners from Farmington and Duluth East Anna Britta Helmer hanging tough in front. At the line, though, four Farmington Tigers pulled away, led by Marie Mariana Scott with a time of 19 minutes, 30 seconds. In fifth place for the Greyhounds was Britta Helmer, 29 seconds back of the lead pace. Hibbings with Gianna Figuro was in eighth place with a time of 20 minutes, 49 seconds. After everything was finished with the races, Duluth East head coach David Wicker said a wildfire smoke delay was a first for him, waiting until the air quality index was down to a moderate 88 before giving the green light. Fortunately, we were able to run, although we had a lot of, uh, many of our runners didn't run because they and their parents decided that it was it was probably not a good idea because of the air quality, and that was a, that was fine. I mean, we understand that totally, but people from out of town got to run, and we, we got to meet in anyway, so that was good. Wicker was especially thankful for his assistant coach, James Kaiser, who helped them monitor the unfamiliar air quality situation.